all right welcome back so look <clears throat> today we're going to talk about so we get wait the last video we had we was talking about the fragment a fragment b uh you see the fragment a we actually put the fragment in there using the container view and actually having the name of fragment a uh being represented and then for fragment b we use the container view also but we we launched it uh, programmatically so right here we add it so we learned about the fragment manager and how to add so look look man the fragment manager is the guy you want to go to when you want to make some fragment transactions and you know that's what we're going to talk about today so let's say for instance what if we want to have like a third fragment maybe a red one fragment C and we want to press a button that what let's say we make fragment c replace fragment b so that's what we're going to do today so for starters let's go ahead and create a new fragment we should already know how to do that by now but i'm going i'm going to go ahead and just follow along right here so let's go fragment c all right we got us a good calling class we know how to do that you know we gotta we gotta extend fragment we gotta extend fragment all right so this time we're gonna do the same thing like we did last time which is create a create us a layout and just place it right into the constructor so let's go ahead and make a layout for fragment c right here man all right let's see let's see let's see android resource file oh let's just name it frag underscore c and for the resource type layout boom all right we got a pretty blue and white going love the split Let's go ahead and give this a background color. Let's go uh, background. Let's see if I can find red in this mug. Hold on, hold on. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, we got red. All right, so never mind. No, you know what? Let's just let's just put the hex up in there of red. Okay, we gotta go. All right, I think it's FF zero zero zero. Let's see what we got. You know what? Can we do that? Yeah, there we go. See, we don't recommend to do this, but we're gonna get into styles later to where we'll well we don't have to like hard code the background color. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get have a text in there also. Let's move over to frag B XML. Let's just copy and paste this. Let's copy and paste this over to frag um uh frag C XML. That way we can just quickly change some things up on here. So uh, just import that if we need that boom that's imported so you just press out enter if you get that red up under the app that way it would import this space so it change this to frag c and let's change the color to white that way we can see through the that way we can see through the red all right so there we go so that's going to be our frag c right there so now the next thing we need to do here, let's go ahead and pass our layout inside our constructor. So our layout dot frag C. See it down here? Oh, man, that's all we need right there. All right. All right. Okay. So what we want to do, let's create a button. Let's go here. Let's go to our main activity, activity main. Let's, let's, let's add a button, add a button right here. So I had a text view. I had a button. There we go. See, I cheated. I just used my uh, copy and paste. So yeah, see, just go ahead and pause the video and copy this down. So this is going to make your button right up under the R2 fragments that we had. So, and we can go ahead and say replace. We just call it replace a fragment. Replace a fragment. That's our button right there. All right back into our main activity so let's go ahead and grab that button let's go ahead and uh private late init so we're gonna initialize it later not right now uh call it replace button replace btn of course it's a button right boom So now we need to uh, 
grab the button from our XML file. So let's just go here and initialize the button because we promised that we would do that with late init. So we do that by saying find view by ID. You see that? Man, that's so dope. All right, so anyways, look. So we go, we go R, ID. I think you guys already know how to do this by now. What button are we looking for? We're looking for the replace button that we just made. Bow. So what we want to do here, keep coming down. Let's go ahead and create a, for the button. Up under here, let's actually, yeah, let's go ahead and create an on-click listener. So the on-click listener is going to listen for uh, click events from the UI. So we'll go to set on click listener, grab that first one right there. And what we want to do is we want to, so what we do inside of here is, hey, what, what are we going to do when, when the user presses the button? Well, like I said, we want to call the fragment manager. We want to highlight him and say, hey, I need, we need this transaction, man. Transaction, I need you to, I need you to replace something for me. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're just going to, let's just copy and paste this. But what we're going to do different is we're going to use the replace method. All right, and so what the replace method does, let's go replace. This is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So what the replace method does, it's gonna use the same container and it's and it's just gonna replace, replace the fragment with whatever we put in here. So right now it has fragment B in there, so let's go ahead and turn that to C. Boom. Let's fix the code up a little bit or it won't look so ugly. So now what's going to happen is remember when we set this and I said we need to always set this to true. That way we can uh, have the order of the fragments in memory. So the reason why we're doing this, let me just show you. Let me just show you. Let's just run this and see if we can get that fragment C to replace fragment B if I'm not mistaken so let's go ahead and run that right there all right so this is the new this is what we just did you see we got replace a fragment so hopefully when I press this button then fragment uh, B is going to be replaced with fragment C so this should turn red so let's click it boom man that boy cold I'm <laughs> look fragment C so look how do we get back how do we make it go back the other way we can't that's just that's just it so the reason why i said we need to do this because it's gonna we do this for we can remember the order okay so what we do want to do now we want to add to the back stack so remember i remember i told you about the windows they're like a stack of cards so inside the fragment manager you holler at this dude you say hey man i need you to i need you to remember uh fragment c put them in put them in the back stack before i can get back to them before i can reverse the act the reaction you know if I can reverse it. So what we want to do is we want to go um, add, I think it's add to backstack. Yeah, you see that right there? Add to backstack. And it takes a name. So this is just any name that you want to call this transaction. What's this transaction? Uh, you know, we can call it whatever you want to call it. You know, just let's say, uh, you know, C frag. That's our C frag transaction right there. So now when we run it, we'll be able to get back. Oh, we should we should have called it B frag. But anyways, when we run it, we'll be able to get back to our previous state. We'll be able to get back to fragment B. So let's go ahead and go to fragment C. So how do we get back? We just use the back button on the Android phone. Boom. Remember, it's like a stack of cards. So how so how we go to C? click it again go back man that's a quick tutorial right there so hold on a second let me see what else i got for you since we just added this this new uh way to add a new fragment in there uh remember we did that in the last video we, we did that on our branch our what is it our work fragments fragments branch so look just do this let's go ahead and add this to work fragments and then we'll just create a new branch on the next video so get 